Good evening. I welcome you all for this evening family prayer. To begin our prayer, shall we all sing all the hymn, All to Jesus I Surrender. Today we will meditate from Psalm 31. This has 24 words. I read from verses 1 to 11, then 23 and 24. In you, O Lord, I have taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Turn your ear to me. Come quickly to my rescue. Be my rock of refuge. A strong fortress to save me. Since you are my rock and my fortress, for the sake of your name, lead and guide me. Free me from the trap that is set for me. For you are my refuge. Into your hands I commit my spirit. Redeem me, O Lord, the God of truth. I hate those who cling to worthless idols. I trust in the Lord. I will be glad and rejoice in your life. For you saw my affliction and knew the anguish of my soul. You have not handed me over to the enemy, but have set my feet in a spacious place. Be merciful to me, O Lord, for I am in distress. My eyes grow weak with sorrow, my soul and my body with grief. My life is consumed by anguish and my years by groaning. My strength fails because of my affliction and my bones grow weak because of all my enemies. I am utter contempt of my neighbors. I am a dread of my friends. Those who see me on the street flee from me. Verse 22. In my alarm, I said, I am cut off from your sight. Yet you heard my cry for mercy when I called to you for help. Love the Lord, all his saints. The Lord preserves the faithful. But the proud, he says, back in full. Be strong and take heart, all you who hope in the Lord. In this psalm, 
once again we read about the cry of david he was going through a difficult situation as per this psalm he wanted to take refuge in god that's why he says in you o lord i have taken refuge and he believes that when we take refuge in god god would surely help he says i have taken refuge let me now be put to shame let me now put to shame delve me in your righteousness and then further further he says turn your ear to me come quickly to rescue me he cries like a child when a child falls down immediately it would expect its mother to come and pick that baby and console like that your david also asking god to come so quickly to help him he is he thinks only god was his fortress only god could help him so he was so eagerly waiting for god's help to come further in verse 9 we read be merciful to me o lord for i am in distress i am in distress we read very often in the book of psalms about this he always says i am going through difficulties i am in distress my friends have forsaken me i don't believe in the idols but always i believe in you he never says that my friends helped me or my brothers helped me i looked for help somewhere it came no he never says that he always says i am looking at you you are my fortress you are my help in this some also he says be merciful to me be merciful to me we cannot grab anything from god's hands many times we think everything will come automatically no it's not so only we will enjoy god's blessing when god is pleased with our life when god would be pleased with our life when we come little closer to him when we lead a righteous life otherwise god will never support us in the book of genesis we read it says people were doing all the evil things god did not like that he decided to destroy this earth as he was planning to destroy this earth the bible tells us there was one man by name noah he found favor in the sight of god why the bible further tells us that he was the only righteous person among others that was the simple reason for noah to find or to get favor in the sight of god the world may go through difficulties the world may go through suffering and pain the world may be confused the world may think what is happening what is going to happen how we would live we need to remember one thing this kind of thinking is only for the people who do not depend on god who do not follow the righteous things only such people will have to think about the future too much but for god's children they should not be the worry 
this should not be the reason to forget God because we are in God's hands. He has created us. He knows what should be given to us. He knows what is our need. He knows what to give and also when to give. In the Bible, we have so many illustrations to support this view. Jesus and his disciples were attending the marriage at Cana. What happened? They lacked wine. So his mother came and told, they are not having wine. Jesus said, my time has not yet come. In his time, he performed the first miracle in our life also. He can do wonders. He can perform miracles according to his will. He would surely fulfill all the desires of our heart. We need not worry about anything. Come to him. Take refuge in him. As David is longing to hide himself in the fortress of God, let us have the same spirit. Let us try to come under his wings. Let him hide us. He is the strong fortress. All the other things will be destroyed. Only God and his providence is forever. It cannot be changed by man. But we should remember to come to him and also we should remember to love him. When we love him and his teachings, when we practice his commandments, he will be very much pleased with our activities. In verse 23, David says, Love the Lord all his saints, the Lord preserves the faithful. What a wonderful testimony he gives. Can we give this kind of testimony as we continue to live in this world? He says, Love the Lord all his saints. The Lord preserves the faithful. If you think that God is not faithful to you, it's not because God is not faithful, but we are not leading a saintly life. So in this evening, let us try to come a little closer to him. Let us get rid of all the sinful things. Let us try to lead a holy life. Further, he says in the last verse, that is 24, Be strong and take heart, all you who hope in the Lord. Be strong. Do not be disturbed by the standard of this world. This world may tell you so many things. You may be disturbed. But David says, be strong. Be strong in the Lord. When we have strong faith in the Lord, I'm very sure we will have a very, very bright future. May the good Lord bless us with such a wonderful future so that we can forget this present and continue to lead a wonderful life. God bless you. Let us pray. Loving Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for this pleasant and blessed evening which you have given to us. Lord, we thank you for keeping all of us safe and sound thus far. It's all because of your grace and love we could complete this day in a successful way. In this evening, before we go to our bed, we come to your presence. Lord, once again we thank you and praise you for all the good things which we enjoyed all through this day. Be with us even in this evening so that we can have proper rest and we can enjoy this evening in a better way. Lord, we commit this present situation unto your keeping. You know that the entire world is going through difficulties and pain. We want somebody to help, Lord, as David was seeking your help we come to your presence 
asking for your protection, asking for your help in this difficult situation. Lord, we ask you to remove this deadly virus from this world. Lord, there is no one to help us. Lord, accept our plea. Be with us. Be compassionate to us. Lord, we pray for all those who are affected with this infectious disease. Lord, we ask you to sprinkle your precious blood upon them. Heal them completely. We thank you and praise you for all the doctors and sisters who are attending on them. Be with them. Protect them. Lord, bless them abundantly so that with your support and blessing, they can continue to take care of their patients, those who come for treatment to them in a better way. Lord, we commit all the scientists and others, those who are involved in searching and finding a solution for this problem. Lord, as they are working hard, we ask you to bless their effort. Help them to find the right solution so that in the days to come, we can get rid of this deadly virus from this world. Lord, whatever the situation it may be, help us to come to you by everything so that, Lord, we can continue to be protected and we can continue to enjoy your love. Lord, we commit all those who remember their birthdays, wedding anniversary and all the other good things. Lord, we commit them unto your keeping. Be with them. Accept their praises and thanksgiving. Bless them abundantly. Lord, we ask you to bless this evening in a very special way. Help us to have proper rest and help us to get up early in the morning so that we can continue to do your will in our life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of Father and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and by our more. Amen. God bless you all. Good night.